Okay, so so till now, uh, from the ideal gas equation, we were able to get the macro properties of macro properties of <coughs> of the of the gas. So so pressure, so the so the volume that is quite measurable, right? These are the macro properties. The temperature you can measure it; it's, it's not a big deal. And 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 if it is if it is uh, if it is a conducting uh, conducting wall, okay, then it is it is the same as the ambient if you have left it long enough, okay. So so uh, it's called diathermic. The conducting wall technically is called diathermic, okay. So fine, but the but the question is, and and that question comes after after every every leap that we take in science, why? Okay, why do gases behave as they behave? Why do they exert pressure when I when I reduce the volume? That means Boyle's law. Okay, fine. Bo Boyle's told that this is this is the relationship. But but the why question is still unanswered, right? Why if you compress the the temperature goes up? Why the gases gases occupy any volume that you leave them into? Okay, why? And there are so many whys, right? So, so by that time, the atomic theory was not that that prevalent, and and, and it had not come in, in in a big way. So, it was only after 1900 when Rutherford told us about about the actual model of atom and how the electrons were there and protons and neutrons. By 1910 or 1920, then only we had a fair amount of fair picture of what was happening, correct? Prior to that, we did not know what it was, right? So, <coughs> it was ultimately thought that as in case of, as in case of solids and liquids, their property is governed by the atoms, so should be the case with the gases, okay? But there are certain peculiarities about the gases which perhaps the liquid and the solid do not share, right? <clears throat> and one of the peculiarities is what? The, the volume itself of a gas is not constant. Okay, many times we, we feel, but, but you, you take a gas in, in a 5 litre can, transfer it to 10 litre can, the volume becomes 10 litre. You transfer it to 20 litre, the volume becomes 20 litre. Okay? If the temperature remains the same, no, I am still not talking about the pressure. The volume, the volume is absolutely changeable, right? But if you take a solid or a liquid, you pour it from one to another container, maybe a larger container, a smaller container, you will find the volume is not changing. Maybe in a tumbler, if there is a, there is a, there is a tumbler full, there is a glass full of, of water, you put it in a jug, you see that it, it, it almost touches the bottom. So it is, it is quite less. Not with the gases. Gases will occupy all, all the volume. Correct. So, so, so though the shape of the uh, of the liquid is not the same, the volume is. So, gas does not matter. Why? Anything that occupies a given volume or space. But it has mass. Anything that has mass and occupies volume is matter. Gases have mass; they occupy volume. Rather more so. Hmm? Occupying volume was they are they are they are smarter than all others. Whatever volume you give, they expand in all all of it, right? And they do have mass that that we know. Okay, so so when when the search search continued for for this, it was understood that perhaps it is the atoms which are responsible for this. But then you had to explain what is, what is happening with atoms, what is, what is happening so that it is exerting pressure on the walls, right? What happens? Why the pressure goes up when you reduce the volume, temperature remaining the same? Okay, why the pressure goes up when you increase the temperature? <coughs> Gay Lussacs, Guy Lussacs, right? Why, why, the, why, the, why the pressure goes up if you increase the temperature? Okay, fine. So all these things are sought to be answered by the kinetic molecular theory of gas okay kinetic as the word suggests is in motion 
kind kind is is motion i told you the word cinema has come from kind okay kinema and and kinetic molecular okay so in motion what are what is in motion molecules. the molecules perhaps the molecules are in motion okay so that formed the basic fundamental of the the theory of gases so what are we doing we are trying to find out the cause for the 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 micro cause for the macro phenomenon correct so in order to find the in order to find the micro cause for the macro phenomena micro cause for the macro phenomena what is macro macro phenomena phenomenon what is that temperature right pressure volume <clears throat> we go to the level of atoms okay and consider the arrangement of atoms as responsible for the various characteristics of the gases various various special properties of the gases <clears throat> right okay now now the the basic assumptions the basic assumptions of kinetic molecular theory are the following okay now the first one is that which we have been reiterating time and again we have said that that gases are made up of very small particles that is nothing but dalton's atomic theory right so gases are made of point masses okay they are made up of point masses okay Be because there is nothing like a point mass you know point mass does not exist what is a point after all what is a point how do you define a point small dot, small dot is a point that's great yes it is radius zero no it cannot be zero if it is zero it is nothing infinitesimally small atoms are not infinitesimally small okay even the size of the nucleus is of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 meters and that of the atom is 10 to the power minus 10 meters this is nucleus it is not a point mass okay there is nothing on this earth which is a point mass it cannot be you cannot you cannot first of all push everything into that smaller dimension because what will happen to the density then increase that's great it will become infinite it will become infinite you have got a definite amount of mass packed into infinitesimally small volume so the density goes up that's what happens in the neutron stars you crush the neutrons so strongly together that that they start <coughs> becoming such a high density that that it finally turns into a black hole later right so, so the gases are made of point masses, masses whose volume is, is negligible, is negligible compared to the total volume occupied by, compared to the total volume, 
to the total volume occupied by the gases <coughs> by the gases <coughs> okay now now what happens so so what happens the distance between the particles is very large compared to the to the to the size of the particles itself so what does it mean this means there is a lot of empty spaces between the particles. between the particles and hence hence the compressibility thing of the gas is explained they are highly compressible okay so this large space between the molecules explains the compressibility of the gases explains the compressibility of the gases ability of the gases okay this large space between the molecules explains the compressibility of the gases <coughs> so compressibility is explained fine then then we come to the other other postulate it says and, and we have been saying that that the intermolecular forces between the gas molecules is the intermolecular forces between the gases is negligible or or almost zero why if that would not have been the case then it would not have expanded to fill whatever volume you put it into correct this explains the capacity of the <clears throat> gases to fill any volume correct okay and these are all observations that that we we know are true <coughs> okay how do we know that they expand without without seeing the particles that they expand you say burn an incense stick or maybe you spray some perfume and it vaporizes and reaches everywhere okay so it expands so it diffuses right that means that means it it goes on to fill the volume that that it is in okay or or maybe a compressed cylinder you increase the volume maybe your lpg you increase the volume five times 10 times and and and, and uh, make a hole in any corner still the gas starts leaking from there okay and you can detect that fine it never happens that okay if the volume is so much maybe the gases are staying so uh, in a lesser volume and you have pricked a hole and it is not escaping that that does not happen until or unless obviously the gases are liquefied and you do not change the temperature even, even your lpg gases which are liquefied they are liquefied due to at the room temperature due to the pressure so if you start removing the pressure it starts getting converted into a liquid a gas Right? Sir, so this shows that the intermolecular forces are acting between the particles of the gases. Hmm? If they are liquefying. What? The intermolecular forces are acting on each other. Yeah, yes, yes. It acts <coughs> at, at higher pressure. We are talking about the ideal mm -hmm. gases. This is for the ideal mm -hmm. gas. For the ideal gas <clears throat> so this 
Yeah, you have not, you have not uh, shaken it. You shake it, you can hear the voice of liquid sloshing inside. What? <laughs> Empty? Come on. Today when you go home, just just try to shake the cylinder and listen to it. You can you can see the, uh, the you, you can hear the voice. Yes, you can hear the voice. As water as water sloshes inside, right? It's a sloshing sound. And and the way see if you have a bucket full of water and you slosh it, so when it comes towards you, it gives you force to you, right? Then it goes away from you, it will seem as if it is taking you, the, the, it is trying to tilt the bucket on the other side. It, the same thing will happen in the cylinder. You, you give it a push, so it, you will feel, after you have given the push, you will feel as if you are being kind of pushed, then, then you, the cylinder is being pulled, and if you leave it, uh, it goes one, one way or the other. Okay, so, so, so both, both the things, the sound as well as this, this uh, push and pull due to the turbulence, that is, both of them are pretty visible, it's not uh, kind of any assumption, okay. But if the cylinder is full, it is better. <coughs> so, <coughs> okay, now what is the third assumption, okay. So, so the particles of the gas, the particles of gas, are in constant motion. Why that observation? Because had it not been the case, it would not have expanded to fill all the volume. It, it would have a, have a definite, definite shape. Definite shape and volume, right? Of, of, of a gas are in constant motion if it was if it wasn't so, the gases would have, would have a fixed, would have a fixed shape and a fixed volume, right? Now, another very important thing about the gases is that, <coughs> that they must be moving in all directions, okay? That they, they must be moving, the, the gas particles move in all directions, in all directions. Okay, they move in all directions and, and, and why, why did we think that to be true and the pressure felt by the walls of the container and the pressure felt by the walls of the container of the container is due to is due to the particles hitting the wall due to the particles <coughs> striking the walls of the container walls of the container <laughs> so what must be happening the particles are moving they move like this and they and they they rebound what has happened to the momentum momentum being a vector quantity it has changed is it not hmm? you can calculate this in fact when when we deal when we uh, yeah even in inelastic it will change